So I took the game industry by the balls and believed in me and equally merged it with verses. So anybody wanna battle, get a pen in a battle with two controllers. Focus, the flow is explosive, breaking every barrier and bury all opposes. Yeah, the game is mine and it's time to be ferocious. You can call me rap god when it comes to game and culture. Embrace who I am and the world is gonna see it. The game industry, everybody wanna be in it. It's funny how the lead up to show you what is missing and I get it now I got it cause I am top the position. Listen from the hood. Growing up, we ain't have much Playing PlayStation with friends Felt like we had enough It was those days with Sega How we was raised up Gotta love Sonic Cause Lost Rings that came up Whoa. Whoa. This is New York City We the home of the gritty Gotta feel me put the game on And if you really ride it with me Throw it up, press start Play a park when we pop on This is New York City We the home of the gritty Gotta feel me put the game on What's up, y'all? It's the one and only hip hop gamer, Hot 97, like the tech G. Yo, look at who we got. Legendary, my dude, Michael Black City and Rodders in the building. You know what I'm saying? And much love to Claudia and KJ. <laughs> Yo, I right, first of all, I want to set it off like this, right? So I'm a hardcore gamer. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, I got my Street Fighter, you know, jacket on and everything like that. And I got to tell y'all, first of all, just watching the first episode, like it doesn't come off cheesy, like at all. Like it was actually produced well. It's funny, and Michael Blackson, you're hilarious. Um, my question though is, have y'all ever like battled each other in like PlayStation or Xbox or any, anything like that? Have y'all ever gamed together at all? So Claudia, KJ, I, I gotta start with y'all. Do y'all ever play games together at all in y'all relationship? Um, we real old school. We, uh, I'm damn near 50. So my games are like Mrs. Pac-Man and the, that's probably bullshit to you, but I really want one of those machines in my house that I can be anybody at Mrs. Pac-Man. No one can see me. No one can see me. The wrist is just on fleek. Like I'm super fast with it. And Over. no one can see me. I, I think we played the bowling alley. I destroyed you. No, no, no. No, oh, I destroyed you. No, destroyed no, him. no, no, nobody. Destroyed. This, I'm a gamer also. I haven't played in a while, but I go back. I go all the way back to Atari. All right. I had wow. the Sega Genesis. I had the, the Coleco Vision, Nintendo. I had, I had all of them. PlayStation I, One, Two, Three, Four. I had a computer before Atari, which was two bar. It was skeet ball with just a two black white bars and a ball. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, they call it jail. So for me, for me, actually, uh, my grandmother, she taught me how to play video games when I was four years old. And it's officially my career, my profession, like right now, amongst other things. So same question to you. Yo, Michael, Rada, like, do y'all ever battle in different video games as well in y'all relationship? Yeah, we don't we don't battle. Yeah. We, we do battle video games like we dress up like I'm Chun-Li and he's Ryu yeah. and we battle on the bed. Nice. Um, oh! But electronically, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> we, we, we're laid back. We might play Monopoly with my kids, but I don't. I trust me. I was into all that stuff. Into like, um, what's it? Kung Fu show. The um, what's it? Kung Fu. Nintendo now? Kung Fu. Nintendo. What's it, Kung, Fu, Kung Fu? Is one of my favorite. <laughs> So Kung Fu and Nintendo, yes, that's one of the games. And Street Fighter, I'm not sure if you talk about reverting to Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, one of those games. Did all that, did all that as a kid, you know, younger. I haven't played, even I was big on like Madden and all that stuff, but I stopped all of those, it was taking too much of my time. I would sit on a game for eight hours straight. Oh, wow. so that's when I knew I had all of those. I, I, I went cold turkey. And let go of the games, and I found something else to do with my time. Yeah, I, I'm an ex-gamer. So back in the Nintendo days, remember when we had those cassettes? And I yeah, was of course, the cartridges, yeah. I always want to save the princess, so i always be, like, blowing into them when they, like, just stand still. I'd yep. be like, come on, come on, come on, <laughs> where are you at? Yep. Yo, y'all so y'all y'all cool with it. That's what I'm talking about. I grew up with that same thing. So the reason why I wanted to set it off with that question is because there's always something or whatever it is that's a common interest that brings people together that kind of holds y'all together. You know what I'm saying? So now my question, uh, going back to um, Claudia and KJ, uh, regardless of ups and downs in y'all relationship and things that we see uh, on the show, uh, what's that one thing that y'all both have in common? that helps keep that relationship together and help keeps the fire, even in the midst of trouble? We probably have a couple of things. I mean, we're, we're real, like low key, real shady. Like we are, 
you know, where, where you can just people watch, just sit back at the airport and you just like, damn, you know, just looking at crazy people. And say, we 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 are that couple. Like we're like, did you see that? Did you see that big old fake booty walking by? Did you see that? You know, that weird old lady with the, you know, whatever. We we talk a lot of trash to each other. Uh, we talk a lot of trash about other people and about each other. Like we just go. We just have a hard banter. We're basically fun. horrible people. Yeah. We're, yeah. <laughs> If I mean, anyone ever got a hold of our DMs, the stuff that we send each other, <laughs> our algorithms are just like horrible. Yeah, like they're bad. I can't say the stuff that we send each other because we would both be canceled. But <laughs> oh no one God. is off limits. Let's just say that no one is off limits. Like, wow. Yeah, I, like I, that I sounds like, like a show. That sounds like a show in itself. Just yeah. your DMs alone. That sounds like a show in itself. That's we'll be crazy. on the couch sitting and watching TV together, and I'll send him something or he'll send me something. And I'm like, my nigga, that was a violent, like that was too far. <laughs> Yo, this is this is crazy. So, Mike, Rada. So now um, what I want to ask y'all is uh we all know about the, the, the side chick rule and stuff like that, right? Now, one thing I want to ask you is your experience with side chicks didn't bring you closer to Rada because even with a side chick, it doesn't give you what Rada gave you. That's why she has the particular title of being your wife. Definitely. Has that experience happened to you? Oh yeah, I, definitely, man. Sometimes, you know, and that's, I think that's a good thing in my head. It makes me, and I tell all the times you think it's a joke. I'm like, side chicks make me appreciate you more, you know? <laughs> Rada. Rada rolled her eyes so damn hard. Yeah, she just rolled like, her eyes real hard. She's like, you know, so, I think, and, and um, we have our best sex after I've slept with a side chick. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. You have to reveal all our secrets. Yeah. KJ and Claudia are in here. My dick is harder <laughs> after I fuck someone else. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, Rado, what do you think of that in in your uh, in, in your mind in terms of uh, <laughs> being on the receiving end? Does that uh, work for you as well, like in terms of, or do you see changes in Michael over time where you feel like, oh shoot, like he's, is he getting better as a husband because of this? Like, you know, what what do you honestly feel about that? Yeah, so honestly, I feel like he is getting better as a fiance, not a husband yet. No, okay. Almost there. It's just a little tweaking we have to make until we get there. But um, yeah, I see a lot of change from the beginning of our relationship until now is like a 180. Um, wow. But, you know, I, I don't want to say it, but when he does have a chick or two, like during the weekend, and he comes back to me, like his performance is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. His, this is crazy. Boing, boing is much harder. <laughs> And we just have an amazing sex session because we talk about it while we're doing it. And this is crazy. Like I get off on, and yeah, I'm a freak. I don't care. <laughs> yes, Asians are freaks too. They just <laughs> admit it, and I'm openly admitting it. So, so now uh, th this question right here, I think, could be for both of y'all because obviously, I know y'all talk to the producers and everything like that, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be more seasons and everything especially with AJ as the, you know, a uh, life coach and stuff. So um, there's uh, a couple of video games. Uh, there's one game that's called Life is Strange that deals with a lot of relationships. And when you're playing the game, uh, you could make a lot of choices. In some games, you can make a choice. It didn't actually rewind it and change that choice to see what a different outcome could actually be. So if there was like a studio that came to y'all and said, hey, we would love to make an actual video game mm -hmm. out of, this project and stuff like that, um, you know, with the celeb celebrity couples, would y'all be open to doing it and having like different storylines related to your real life and have people interact with it and play it out and actually see if it could be a case study that can make other people's relationships better from a gaming standpoint? Would y'all be open to that? Claudia and KJ, y'all can take that answer first. What do you mean? Like, like kind of like Black Mirror, the, the show, like when they... When they, uh, you know, you can pick different endings to the stories. Is that what you mean? Yeah, but you actually like playing the game. Like I could go buy it on PlayStation, Xbox. I could control y'all as characters and go through certain storylines of your real life. But maybe there's different outcomes based on different Ooh, decisions. That could open. That could be extremely freaky and wild. And they probably <laughs> would kill me. 
<laughs> yeah, but that's what I'm saying. If you, if y- y'all would be open yes. to something like that, yeah, that sounds that sounds amazing. Yeah, you want to kill me? No, not kill. It's it's about relationships and then just yeah. you know just being able to choose your choose your destiny. That would be fun. Yes, I'm pretty exactly. much down for it. I'm pretty much down for. Uh, now I won't say whatever because Michael it, it, Blackson is right here, but not whatever <laughs> like as wild as they are. But I'm down for a lot of stuff. I'm pretty open. You can't do side chicks though. That's, oh wow! <laughs> I can this do a side dude. This is insane. So I know there's uh with within the show, I know there is some sort of ultimate goal, and everybody that's watching, they also like searching for answers as well and stuff like that. So um back to Michael and Rada, uh when y'all are together and it's like literally just y'all and there's no social media, there's no nothing, it's literally like just y'all. Wh- what made you fall in love with Rada and Rada, what made you fall in love with Mike? Like and the reason I'm asking that is because the more energy is invested in the reason why that y'all together in the first place could actually potentially produce uh, better relationships that actually is going to watch uh, the show and have something to learn from. So, Mike, I'll let you uh, answer that question, big bro. Yeah, I want to follow Rada. She's very uh, just smart, very intelligent. She's very loving. Very caring. She likes to she like to take care of her man. She takes very good care of me, you know, physically, mentally, stomachly, if you want to call it, when you cook everything, you know, she <laughs> makes sure I'm well, you know, and sometimes when she notices that I'm when I'm not feeling well, it's been a time where I'm, you know, she like, I'm not feeling well. She even offer like, hey, you want to call on the site just to make make you feel better? I mean, she's she's yes. Wow. You know, she and she know if 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 I say yes, and she know I'm I'm feeling better. Wow, this is crazy. It's because it's like y'all know each other in and out, regardless of what other people think. Y'all know each other in and out. And the re- and going to you, Rada, uh, it's very important to protect the energy that you build with the one that you're with. So, how important is that to you in terms of protecting that energy and making sure home is taken care of, not just only for Mike, but for you and your conscious as well. That's a great question because I'm such an energy person. I am very sensitive to everybody's energy around me. And I've told him a few times where, you know, I don't like the situations that you're in. So I'm going to remove myself for those few days Mm. Uh, because I, you know, it's crazy. As crazy as it sounds, you can still protect your energy in a situation like this. Um, I, a lot of people don't know that I meditate every night before I go to sleep. So that's how I keep sane. I keep peaceful, peaceful, uh, in, within me. And, um, it just helps me, you know, just regroup and start my day fresh. And that's how I deal with everything that's going on around me and protecting our relationship as well. Um, is through that. Got you. And just to wrap this up, uh, what I would love to know from both of y'all is Rada, Claudia, um, do y'all ever like talk to one another and same thing with Michael and KJ, like, do y'all ever talk to one another um, about like whether y'all own y'all relationships or just relationship in general to put, potentially get some um, thoughts and ideas uh, to help better what y'all have? Because I think that uh, a lot of times, um, it's hard to see uh, females come together and help each other out for their own relationships and to see a lot of the brothers come together and help each other out for the sake of their own relationships. So do y'all ever have conversations or come together because y'all have um, uh, relationships to understand that? The lady, oh, go ahead. We've been very busy since this show and I've been touring and I really haven't had a chance to reach out to my brothers like him, run. You know, once in a while, I don't have, I don't think I have KJ's number, but I know I've I, I, I text him occasionally. Uh, Styles P, we have the same birthday, so I think around that time, mm. we test each other. We born the exact same date. Um, uh, and then um, Nick Young, I, I ran into him uh, once or twice, you know, that we've never really started and had a conversation on the relationships and everything yet. We haven't had, we haven't had time. Oh, got you. Okay, and how about you, Claudia, like speaking with Rada and stuff like that, or, you know, vice versa? Have you ever had those moments? 
I liked Rada right away when I met her. I thought she was a sweetheart and so fun. And we, we and actually her, myself, Jess, and um, Shamari were all like, you know, we're going to plan um, a girl's trip and we're going to do Vegas together. And we haven't done Vegas together yet, but my birthday was April 12th and Rada was so awesome. She came down and hung out with me and my girls. It was just a girl's trip. We just were like, we, we, we went to nice dinners. We had a boat for the day and, and we had a really good time. And Rada, was, she's super fun to hang with and super sweet. So, you know, we got to talk a little bit, but we, we send each other DMs all the time and like funny things. We check on each other. And I, I, I like that we can show like, you know, people think reality TV, the women are going to be all catty with each other. Not the case. Like we wow. make some real friendships on the show. Wouldn't you say, Rada? Yeah, no, um, we we have such a great relationship after the show. Uh, we all are like sisters. So we yeah. have this bond um, that we have together as far as like sharing information or um, things that would help better us individually. So, so we talk. <clears throat> but Amazing. That's the thing with women. I think women are very easily to make friends. Men, we so territorial. I don't I gotta start start a new friendship with this nigga. Women would meet <laughs> and, and they would say, hey, can I borrow your panties? Oh, what size bra you wear? Oh my God, that would look so good on me. You know, man, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't got I even know you and KJ didn't have each other's number. I'm gonna put y'all in a group chat. <laughs> y'all gonna have a play date. We're gonna make y'all be friends. <laughs> Yo, that's great. So look, that's my time. And the reason why I asked that question is because I feel like as long as there's accountability held between your brothers and your sisters, then growth can come out of the accountability. So that's why I asked that. So that's my time. One love and God bless. It's the one and only hip hop gamer on your hot nine seven every day. That's my word. Big Mike Rodder. 40 of KJ, we are out of here. <laughs> and much love. Let's get it. Yeah. Yeah. You have great, you have great energy. I love you. God bless you. you. Great Thank energy. you so much. Yo, yo, what's up, what's up? It's the one and only furious hip-hop gamer, Hot 97 Logitech G-A-M-D. We outside, baby. Yo, shout out to Couples Retreat, you know what I'm saying? VH1 doing it big, you know what I'm saying? Like KJ, Claudia, Jordan, much love. Rider, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Rider and the one and only Michael Blackson. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all enjoyed that interview. You already know how it go down. Let me know if everything look good and sound good. Cause we about to get up in the crew too right now. We about to do we about to get that billionaire's work in right now. We about to play out the story and all of that. This is the DLC. So I hope y'all enjoy it. Um once again, shout out to my peoples over at Top Gun. You know what I'm saying? Paramount. May uh May 27th, make sure y'all check it out. And then also DCN, that's the new joint, Digital Currency Network. I'm telling y'all right now, hate it or love it, it's going down. It's a whole new movement. Get up on your crypto, get up on your ne next gener uh, generational wealth, son. It's going down for real, for real. Pay attention. On that note, let's get up in this right now. You know what I mean? Let me know if everything look good and sound good. Shout out to Frank E in the building, King Fire in the building, Jamil in the building, Hustle or Nothing. What's up, baby? You know what I mean? Corey, what's going on, Corey? Shout out to 108 Dragons TV in the building. I love y'all, man. Now let's get it in. And once again, let me know if everything look good and sound good. All right? Let's go. Yo, Walter, what's up, baby? A billionaire's work. Let's get this money. So now we got to uh, detail this. All right, we just pimped it. Now, um, now that we did that, we got to... Um, I gotta find the biggest yacht. Word is there's some exciting new stuff waiting for us back at HQ. Wait, my bad. Let, let, um, let me go to there the, in, like, uh, forever. We should check it let out. Me go to the map. I hope my stuff's all still there. Wait, where did I pin this joint? Is this it? Hold up. Yo, look how huge the map is, yo. Wait, I think this is where I pinned it, though. Well, nah, that's the off-road. Yo, look at all of this. I, yo, this game is fire, son. Okay, I'm trying to find where I pinned...
I removed the waypoint. Because they said we got to go to the, uh, what's the name? Hold on, my bad. Let me back, let me back out real quick. I got to find where to go. Um, of course I played this before, but I haven't played it in a long time. So I'm trying to remember how to do everything. Like, I haven't played this in a minute. Stories. Details. It says I got to find the biggest yacht. To find the biggest yacht in Port Israel, south of, south of Dallas. All right, so we got to go south of Dallas, yo. All right. Yeah, let's open the map. Oh, there we go. Boom. Story details. Okay, did that. So, this is the yacht. All right, bet. So let's go find this yacht. <clears throat> that's that's in Dallas. Hold on a second. All right, that's Chicago. This is Vegas. Yo, I wish they just had it set up where it's like easy to go to this joint. Sacramento, uh, they got Dallas at yo. Yo, this is weird, yo. That's Detroit. I don't know where this joint is at, y'all. <clears throat> this joint is getting annoying. Nah, I can't get out the um, <clears throat> I can't get out the car. This. This is the biggest yacht. See, look, you gotta find it. I needed the best of everything. Biggest yacht in port. Yo, this that this ain't cool. I, I I don't like. See, they just made me not like this part of the game. Literally. So we about to go do something else, cause. Like that's that's not fun for me. Like that's that's stupid. So we're gonna do something different. Cause that right there is just dumb. We go to street expert. This doesn't make any sense, yo. Yo, Crystal, what's going on? We playing the crew too, but I'm trying to get to like the right spot. Like, I, I don't like the way they did this. I don't like the way they did this at all. This is really stupid. The way they did this. Grounds are drivers wanted. Like, I'm trying to find um, this yacht. There's a yacht that I got to find. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, they, they tell they tell you to pin it. And I don't even, I, I don't even know where it's pinned at. And I'm trying to find Dallas, but it's not letting me. I'm about to just race a regular race, like. That's, a, that's like see, stuff like that makes me not want to play the game. But that, but that stupidity right there. The game looks dope though. The controls is great. Graphics and everything is crazy in this game. Wow, look at the lighting, yo. Dude, this is stupid. 
Yeah, it's stupid. I, I don't like the way they did the story situation here. This is dumb, yo. For real. All right, I'm, I'm going to try to see what's up with this squad event, yo. Yeah, I'm playing on PC. I'm going to go to this squad yeah, event. Well, well. Who would have thought that Lumberjack Tuck would have come out to race in a city like this? Can't wait to watch you send him back to the woods where he belongs. Yeah, that's one thing I love about this game, how you can do whatever you want to do. Let's go, we out. We out. Let's go! Yo, this, oh my gosh, this viewpoint is crazy, this joint to make you sick. Wow. Oh, that was 
a dope backflip. That was a dope backflip. What's up, baby? That was horrible. King Sean, yeah, son. Nah, uh, yo, this game is fire. I love it. I just don't like the, the story part. It makes it so hard to find the, where you need to get to. That joint is annoying. It's not like, I, like if the game ain't like set up for it to have the proper fun, that joint is annoying, yo. Inglewood, baby. Uh, let's find another spot to go to. Oh, we go. All right, we gonna go to downtown LA, um, to do a street race. So let's go. Let's go. Alright, let's go. We have to start in grid. Two, one. What up, Sideshow? Let's go. The time has come for you to own oh. the streets. Shortcuts, baby. Let's go. Lighting and everything is crazy in this joint, son. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Let's go. We out. We out. Woo! Let's go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Finish line, baby. Let's go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Let's go. That was fire. Oh yeah, friend. You you can change um uh you can uh change your car to a plane and all types of stuff. So that's dope. Now let's go to, um, hold up. Let's see what else we got. Um, oh, we got a, we got a dope series. Let's go to the series. Let's go, y'all. Frankie was like, yeah, this game is fire, son. What? And I can switch the, uh, oh, well. Let's go. 
<clears throat> this zone is fire. It's time for some of those California dreams to come true as proven racers and ambitious newcomers battle it out. Side show, stop much love. Thank you, man. Extreme series. It's nonstop so action. This is the live like extreme series. Seen it Watch this, y'all. This is crazy. Drive city to city? Yeah, I could do that. I could do drive. I could drive city to city in this game. Go. Do you like speed? We've got it. Let's go. Do you want to see jet sprint boats sipping their way through twisty passages? We've got that too. Hey, Do you like supercars on the streets of Los Angeles? Have we got something for you? Let's go. Go, yes. Yeah, this this car is real okay, this boat is real sensitive. Ooh, the level design is fire. Oh wow. Oh come on man. for some pure speed there wow. and those cruise ship passengers are getting quite the view yeah, I'm getting destroyed man. look like the Phoenix Suns right now yo go Woo! let's see what they have ready for let's us go next. Go. I hope that I can catch up. Graphics is so beautiful, yo. Oh, come on, man. Go. Are you kidding me? Wow. From a boat to a roof and from a roof to the ground. Now there's a leap of faith for you. Let's go. Woo. And now over the river and onto a port full of containers. Those guys have no fear. Go. This is sick, y'all. They're gunning it as they head toward the home stretch of this section. Let's go. Oh! Oh! What a backflip, baby! Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Let's go. Wow. It's not every day you get to see these kind of cars going full throttle along the LA River. Viewers, remember, you can vote on social media to tell us who, according to you, is the driver of drivers in this year's live extreme series. 
Oh, I right, finally catch it up. Let's go. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. Yo, this game is sick. Let's go. Wow. Look how fast I'm going. Crazy. It's the last stretch of this race, a very technical section where drivers must keep their focus. Let's go. Hurry up. Oh, yes. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry up. No. Let's go, baby. Come on. Ah! Oh, let's go. There's a decisive move. They're going for it. No. Hurry up. Hurry up. I'm almost there. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Yo, I want that, son. I won Fresh that! Oh this my was the god, that was a crazy match! I didn't give up. I thought I was gonna and lose. Plenty of racers are making a case for why they no. should be crowned head of the series. So keep following oh, us and now, this, your favorite this game drivers. is fire, so we'll you kidding see me? you at race number four. Like, Forza don't do this. I came in first on that. Yo, that's crazy. This is crazy. Yo, Donovan, what's up, dog? Wow, that was crazy. Yo, Frank E, that was crazy, right? Yo. What's up, Misfit? Yo, that was that was epic. Oh, pimp your eyes. That was crazy, son. This ain't like the Sony version of Forza, because uh this game is on everything. This is crazy though. That was crazy just now. Oh my gosh. All right. So that was so we we've been in LA for a while. Let's go let's go to Shot Town. Let's go to Shot Town. See what's popping over here. So Shot Town got a street street race. So we're gonna um race uh in um Shot Town right now. Faster vehicles is more faster than more faster than that. Hold up. I guess not. Okay. Oh, oh, wait, hold up. This is 342. Let's go to performance on this. Oh, I can beef it up to 353. All right, let's go. Three forty-seven. That's the highest we go. Three thirty-five. Three forty. All right, let's go, baby. We gonna rock with this joint. Oh, we're oh oh this oh we got the bikes right now. Uh-oh, let's go. Three. Oh, look at the bike. Two. One. Oh, shoot! Look at this level. This is fire. Put the hammer down. Yo, this looks like Cyberpunk in, in, in the crew 
Doom 2. This looks like Cyberpunk. Wow. This is fire. Let's go. Wow, look at that. Graphics is crazy, y'all. Yo, you hear the music? This is crazy. Wow, let's go. Oh! Oh, look at the willy. You saw the willy? This is sick. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is like some Stranger Things cyberpunk on stuff like this is sick and the music is ridiculous wow this is unbelievable son wow This whole experience right here is amazing. Y'all gotta play this. Y'all gotta play this. Wow, look at this. This is unbelievable, son. Look at the lighting, the graphics, the special. Nah, this is too much. This is too much. Oh my God. Not supposed to make games like this. This is too amazing. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yo, the music is incredible. This is for yo. It don't make no sense to level. Look at this. Look at that. Oh no, hurry up, hurry up. Yo. This is sheer greatness. Sheer greatness. Oh, finish line, baby. What y'all think of that? That was in Chicago. Wow. Yeah, that Willy was crazy, yo. Yo, this is crazy, yo. This is, yo. That's it. That's crazy. So look, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed the show. I hope y'all enjoyed the stream. This is it. Like, this is fire. Like, this is what y'all need to pick up and be playing. If y'all ain't playing yet, get the Ubisoft, you know, you play pass. You know what I'm saying? Ubisoft Plus. This is sick. This is crazy, son. You already know what it is, man. I love y'all. One love and God bless. It's the one and only furious hip-hop gamer, Logitech G-A-M-D. 
on your hot nine seven every day. That's my word. Pay attention, dog. I got the hottest content. DCN Digital Currency Network. Let's go. Love y'all. See y'all tomorrow. Peace.